Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Three Oak Podcast, where even artists can be fans. AJ oh. the Menace. Shane M. Petty. And ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 83, and uh, me and Shane were about to go in depth in conversation pretty much, so I figured like... <laughs> yeah, we just were going to reminisce. Yeah, we were we were having a reminisce moment. Uh, I used to tell your brother, they're called midi moments. Midi moments, Be- what? Okay, because this is something your brother does all the time. Yeah. He'll have like uh, reflecting life mm-hmm. moments where you're like... Mm. Isn't it beautiful, like, how, like, we met, like, in 2009. <laughs> he reminisces a lot. And, you know, 10 years later, now we do a podcast that we've been doing for two years. Like, he'll have those yeah. moments. Yeah. I'm like, here we go with another mini moment, bro. Like, <laughs> 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 and, yeah, and yeah. I feel like every time I used to hang out with him, like, once every time I hung out with him, he had a moment like that. Like, yeah. he would just reflect on some shit. <laughs> that means, but that's how I was, like. Uh, I told you, like, when I made this whole picture collage. As a matter of fact, I sent that was my brother's birthday present. I, oh, I you sent mailed him, it out to him? Yeah, yeah. I, I sent it electronically okay, uh, through okay. Dropbox. Oh, Just yeah, yeah. Just a bunch of folders of pictures, like from '95 to now. Oh, he <laughs> loved that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said yeah. that. He said to his uh, roommate, he was like. When he was looking at all the pictures, the roommate passed by the room, and she said, like, hey, why, why do you look like you're going to cry? <laughs> so, yeah, he was like, like, my brother just sent me all these pictures of, like, because I, I started from, like, where pretty much, thank goodness, every time we uh, made a home movie when we were kids, yeah, we shot all over the house, you know, of everywhere we lived oh, when we were kids. Oh, so y'all have vivid look. We just, have, like, damn, that's hard. moving footage of everywhere we've ever lived since from a kid's and every room on top of that. Every room at the kitchen and stuff like that. So yeah. what I did was I would pull up the the movies, take a snapshot of it on my phone for, uh, off the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, sharpen it up a little bit. And then just, it, like, it would be, like, stills, you mm-hmm. know? So I'm like... And then I organized them by years. And so I'm like, here's what we would do. Here's the house where we lived when we were kids. And here's... Uh, I said extra... F- photos of like the movies and games and music we were into and stuff like yeah. that to make it more vivid like you're you're time traveling right oh, now yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah like so. you really sent him on a um on yeah a, on an on a course so maybe that's why yeah me, me and him have that sort of like nostalgic you know, uh-huh, yeah. every once in a while you know because remember i was just about to go into it <laughs> yeah you were yeah because like, uh we started yeah. early 2017 we did bro. it was was it march 17 um uh, was it march it might have been february February? It, it okay. Have, yeah, it might have been February. I don't think it was that close to my birthday. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because March is like... When's your birthday again? Uh, March 29th. March 29th. Oh, yeah. yeah, March is like a, a big date for like, I guess, Menace Material and like everything that I've ever done. Yeah. Uh, My first pro- Procrastination at its Finest came out yeah. March seven, March 12th, 2000 and... March 12th, 2012. Okay. So yeah. like March... That's why I was like, damn, did we start in March? That would have been yep. crazy. You know what I mean? Like every... Because then it was like, like this Like ongoing... every new thing, it seems like I started March. You know what I mean? When it comes to like the brand like, what, and like creativity and stuff. This March, what happens? <laughs> right? Yeah. Like what's going to happen? Yeah. What's going to happen this March? Like... Yeah. I don't know. Because <laughs> of the tr- at the movement that I think that we're like... That me and Leon have like honed in on and that we're about to focus in on like... It's we're about, like, we're about to have shit. Like, it's about to be something every week, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. every week is going to be something. Like, we've already had the podcast every week. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, okay, I got the podcast on Wednesdays. Um, I'm going to be dropping Champagne Thoughts with Paul. Yeah. Twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll be making these little videos like I just put up on Instagram a little while ago. Like, yeah. if something pops up, you know what I mean? I'll probably do something funny like that. Yeah. Or a, few, it, or a few days ago. <laughs> or a few days ago. Yeah. Or a few days ago. Yeah. yeah I'm sure they've This is the Saturday before the Better Late Than Never uh, showcase mm-hmm. for Leon Gamble's grand reopening. Uh, I mean, promotion at this point is pointless, but hey, you missed it, man. It was yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah. It was, it was great. a packed out. It was a sold out <laughs> show, and you missed it. Oh, shit, I, I, I hope you didn't miss it. Hopefully, if you're following, um, my Instagram, you got to attend it, even though you weren't there, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, it was an amazing moment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wish you were there, man. Wish you were there. But there is going to be, like, recap footage and stuff coming yeah. out soon, so don't worry. You will have that. Yeah. And this Friday, we're probably dropping another Leon Gamble freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> and if you haven't seen this one from last week, go ahead, check that out. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, man. It's really good. We've been doing this for a while. Mm-hmm. But I was just telling Shane, I was like... Uh, I was like, I kind of like sometimes, like, 
because we don't, me and him just don't do episodes by ourselves that often. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I saw, I was like, yeah, yo, I like when we do episodes. It's if it's like yeah. old school, like vintage. I feel like we're at the white table again. Yeah, yeah. You know and, oh man, the white table. The white which table is, right bro. over there. Nah, the white table's not. The white table's right behind you. That's where the st- the stereo's on That's the white right. table. Yeah. yeah. And that table's so small compared to what we have now. Like we went <laughs> that, that, to the point where I, I almost couldn't even remember. Like the white I, table. I, yeah. It almost seems like we had this table forever. It does. It feel, it fits. It, it fit in so naturally. Yeah. So shout out the caliber for that yeah um somebody just brought up to me i was talking to somebody i cannot remember who it was this was in like the last two months maybe yeah and they were like yo man i like your podcast bro i love that one where you were talking about christ crackers oh, oh like, what sh- i was like right that was a long time ago wait, you know what I'm saying? yeah but i was like, gonna say wait this is recent but i, I was like <laughs> christ crackers oh man that was i think that was like one of our like first funny clips <laughs> yeah people were really tuned in for that one yeah, yeah. like people christ loved crackers. that one bro like yeah that was like the first time we got a clip that was like had like 200 or 300 views on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. people really liked it, yo. So, Christ yeah, crack. the Christ Crackers. I remember one. it was just like a random moment. You know, I didn't even think it was going to be that funny. I was just yep. like, oh, the Christ Crackers. <laughs> and then another, um, another clip that we had that people actually came up to me and were like, yo, that clip was funny as hell was when you were talking about bestiality. <laughs> and you remember oh. you were like, what? What happened? Ha- oh, you what? and Leon love that. Yeah, yeah. It was me, you I and Leon. I didn't know what was happening. I was like, wait, that's what, right. what did it I say? Me. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. It was me, you, and Leon. Yeah. And we were talking about... People were- who are have sexual, like, they are sexually attracted to, like, not just animals, but just objects. I think I was trying to yeah. figure out people who, like, that guy that was, like, sexually attracted to buildings and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Because it wasn't like, just bestiality. Uh-huh. It was other stuff. Yeah. Sexually hey, attracted you, to a table. Like, yeah. You were just like, <laughs> I just what wanted to know, Like, <laughs> I want to interview these people. The music be like, <laughs> yeah. And you that guys started another, laughing. That was another one. It was at least two people. <laughs> one of them was a complete random. Yeah. Ran dude walked up to me on Glenwood Avenue, completely random dude. He was like, Yo, you be doing, I know you from somewhere. There's like a great, you be doing that podcast. There's like a green locker in there. He's like, Bruh, when y'all were talking about that bestiality, I was thinking this same shit. <laughs> I was like, Yo, this is crazy. Like, Damn, but you know what? That was when I, I used to promote the podcast. Um, I think that helped. I should probably go back to that. It's just expensive, you know. Instagram has this fucked algorithm where it's like they make you pay for like promotion and stuff because nothing's in chronological order. So it's like hmm. you need to have a certain amount of people like your post in a certain amount of time really? or it will okay. only show it to 10 or 20 percent of your followers compared to 90 to 100. You know what I mean? Oh, like, oh I yeah, man. do not know this. Instagram has a crazy uh, algorithm. Like yeah. this is like an insight for like people who like. Advertising stuff. Yeah, and not even, yeah, advertisers you might not know, honestly. So yeah, this is gonna be good for y'all. And this is literally what be going through like me and Leon's head, like when we're posting on Instagram. So <clears throat> Instagram has an algorithm, uh, for those that don't know, ever since Facebook bought them and pretty much once we lost chronological order, when everything wasn't in order, you know what I mean? Okay. Where if you posted it a second ago, I saw it because you just posted it a second ago. Okay. Now you only see people's posts that you like personally. So if you always tend to like their posts, you yeah. always see their post. And it's chronological now. So you always like my post mm-hmm. and you just logged on to Facebook 12 hours after I like my post. It'll be at the top of your feed because you typically on like on okay. Instagram, uh, Instagram because you typically like my post. So that's oh, why they're man. showing it to you, even though at the bottom it says 12 hours ago. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh, dang. So we don't even go out to everybody. No, Shit. man. Your posts are not being seen by everybody. Fuck. I yeah. Know that. So <laughs> the way it is, it's like, and this is how they get you. You can convert your Instagram account into a business account. Mm-hmm. And when you have a business account, you can see your analytics. You can see, and for those who don't know, people who have business accounts, it'll have their at name, and then underneath it, it'll say what they do. So you know, people have musician, band, yeah. or some people be like photographer or whatever. It have that like it's in gray words. Yeah, what what you do or whatever. Those are people who have business profiles. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do you have one? Uh, a business profile. A business Instagram uh, profile. No. But I was going to ask you, like, so, like, what about hashtags? When you hashtag, like, and somebody's looking up a word in a hashtag or, or, or the hashtag itself, so, yeah, I think has- see it? I think hashtag, honestly, I don't know if hashtag is running off of that popularity thing, too. Mm-hmm. I think hashtag still might be running off chronological because when you search for a hashtag, mm-hmm. you can pick between top hashtags and most recent. Yeah, yeah, you could switch between the two. I think mm-hmm. so. They might they're still running in chronological order. Uh, so people, but can, those are people can find it exactly. Right? Those are random people. Those aren't your friends. Yeah. So like you have a thousand friends, and a hundred of them saw your post. 
Yeah, or maybe even at least a 50, less. 60 of them saw your post. Yeah. And maybe only 10, 20, 10 to 20 of them liked it. Yeah. You know, you that what makes saying? so much sense. Yeah. Like, in terms of, like, views and stuff like that. I'm like, exactly. damn, man, nobody's, like, where, where is everybody? <laughs> it's, it's all strategy, bro. <laughs> so, what helps is the first 10 minutes, your Instagram will deem your post whether it's um, valuable or not. Mm. And if if you can acquire 10 to 20 likes... Or maybe t- at least 10 likes and maybe five comments mm-hmm. or 20 likes and 10 comments. Yeah. Within the first 10 minutes, your de- your post is deemed d- desirable. So it'll instead of only showing 10% of your followers, it'll show 80% of your followers or yeah. 70% of your followers. Yeah. But every time you initially make, a, initially make a post, it is only showing 10% of the time. Hmm. So okay. what you want to do is if you, can get, if you can catch a banger on Instagram – where, like, you drop something and you get mad likes and mad views, right? Mm-hmm. At that point, everybody has just liked your profile. So, normally, you may average 50 likes. Mm-hmm. Today, I got 150 likes on something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, now, 100 more people that typically don't like my post, the next time I post something, they're guaranteed to see it because you just like one of my posts. Yeah. Okay. So, now, I need to stay hot so that they can keep liking my post and I stay fresh on their feed. Yeah. You want to stay as fresh and people liking your post as consistently as possible so mm-hmm. that they'll always see it. Okay. Yeah. Damn, Which man. I'm sorry, that's I why I tag some of y'all yeah. because I I don't know if I'm showing up on your feed, mm-hmm. so I want to make sure I'm showing ah. up on your feed, and at least you see it, and that increases my chances of you liking it. So the next time I don't have to tag you, I can post it, and you'll guarantee to see it. Yeah, okay. So that's yeah. why that I'm tagging people tagging. on yeah. Instagram and stuff like that because maybe you know they would like your post, but they never seem to like it, and you know it's not like no beef. Like they would like your post if you, <laughs> if you see it. Yeah. I'm gonna tag you so that you can see the next one. Yeah. Anytime I follow, oh, and anytime, think, check this out. Mm. Anytime you follow somebody new, hit follow, go back to your main feed, and refresh. It'll be their first, their first four to five pictures on yeah. their feed yeah. will be the first thing you see. Yeah. That's It'd true. be like the, the person you just followed, mm. somebody random. The person you just followed, somebody random. Yeah, all somebody. that. And the pictures are like from weeks ago or something. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's the first, whatever their first like five are or whatever, mm. or four. Yeah. But yeah, man, Instagram is all out. It's all an algorithm, man. Yeah. So it's all about. Hey, man, that was Instagram one hundred and one. Just yeah, that. pretty much. That was like a sneak peek. So yeah. and maybe there was a lot of people like myself who didn't know that. So mm-hmm. yeah, there's. I know there's some people who do know that, but mm. there's a lot of people who might not know that. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pull that ten minute. Me talking you know, like about random this people shit. who are just like they're, they're literally just. They just have an Instagram just to put stuff up there, but they probably have no idea that some people are just not seeing it. <laughs> yeah. And it's safer. It five likes. That's why I don't post as much. It's safer to post as little as, pos- as, little as possible and not mess up your algorithm mm-hmm. than just post and just try shit out. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't want to post if I'm not sure if it's going to be a funny video or if people are going to like it. Yeah. I'll just wait. And sometimes I won't have a post for a week. You know what I mean? Because I don't have a fire picture or a fire video that I can put out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. it's yeah, crazy man. shit, yeah. but yeah, well, I guess we can get into our topics. We just kind of went off on a rampage. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you want to yeah. do the ride out? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah we yeah, can yeah. do the okay. ride out. All right. I'll start though. Uh, yeah. and the crazy thing is I have not heard this song yet, yeah. but I'm ready to see this. I'm ready to hear the song fully. I've only heard snippets, like 30 minutes, 30 second snippets. A new song? New song. Okay. Lil Duval has dropped his second single called <laughs> Pull Up. Oh shit. And... What? I have and it's featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Okay, and all all I've heard is snippets, and the snippets are hot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't heard the whole joint yet, but I'm yeah. ready to hear it. Yeah. So uh, I mean, at this point, this is going to be four days later. I'll have I'll have heard it, but yeah. For those who haven't heard it at this point, you like to hear. It, here it go. So like, it, what is he doing? He's these are just singles that, or is he like prepping up for like an actual? I think album? he's prepping up for an actual album, or he just mm. might keep dropping singles. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Hey man, I didn't even come with one prepared, but I'm gonna go with uh Damn man, I'm gonna go with a song from Black Milk. Oh uh, God, yeah, I haven't heard any Black Milk songs in a while. I know. I, I, he might have a new I think he had a new project out, but come I haven't out checked last year it out. or something. No, oh yeah, probably like at the tail end of last year. Yeah. Um but I'm gonna go with one from like a old uh an old album. Um Damn man, I can't remember the, the name of the song, but it's it's track one off of uh Ah damn it. I can't remember the, the name of the album either. Damn, you know what? Yeah, I might switch I might switch it up. I might uh I'm gonna go with like Elzai. 
You know, a rapper. Elza? Elza. Yeah, yeah, it was a rapper. Elza. Oh, yeah, he was a uh, one third of uh, Slum Village. And, Yo, uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I mention now. One of yeah, one I of those. I don't know Oh, you do? What? I have an honorable mention. Like, go ahead, finish. That was, a cl- that was a clue? <laughs> that was a confirmation to make an honorable mention. Yeah. I think I actually have to Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, the preface intro by Elzai. And okay. it's on his album called The Preface. Okay. And I always just like that. Uh, Shit, the song is probably called The Preface if it's his first track. It should. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, is, the last it? word he says, uh, it's a very short song, actually. Okay. Um, but at the very end, tail end, he says, uh, and yeah, I welcome to the preface. And then it just goes right into track two. So, preface, um, and that's Elza? Yeah, Elza. With an H I at the end. Yeah. Oh, I remember it. When I see it on paper, I remember what, it. What, the cover? No, when I, oh. when I type his name out. Yeah. I didn't know who you were talking about at first, but as yeah. soon as I typed it out, I said, yeah. I know exactly who that is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sometimes I always, like, forget what his face looks like because, like, yeah, I don't, I don't I know that videos. name, though. Yeah, I know yeah. that name, though. Um, and even when I got that album, like, I was on a very, like, um, this whole, like, between 2008 and 2010, like, I was just, like, got hip-hop crazy. And I think it was because uh, Jay Dilla. Like, once I discovered, I just discovered Jay Dilla, like, only, like, 08 or something. Okay. And uh, once I discovered him, then I discovered Ninth Wonder and uh, Alchemist and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, but then I just, that was one of the hip-hop albums that I really loved that summer. And I recently just heard the song on the way here. So, um, yeah. So, if you'd like to hear it, here it go. Boom. Okay. What's and this then, honorable, honorable So, mention? my honorable mention, was I was sitting over here and I was like, for some reason, Slum Village just popped into my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like... Damn, why did that pop into my head? Yeah. And then I'm just like sitting over here thinking like, I do love that song, Selfish, though. Se- yeah. You know what I mean? Selfish. Like, I'm just sitting over here like really thinking about it. Really. And then you were like, yeah, he's one half of Slum Village. I said, okay, I'm, I'm yeah. doing it. I'm doing it. Maybe so yeah, that's going to be my honorable mention. It's going to be Selfish by yeah. Slum Village. Yeah. And you like to hear it? Here you go. I always love that video, too. Yeah, like I don't kids. even remember the video honestly. I don't yeah, I, mean, I never heard it like on the radio or anything. It's yeah. just like like on BT. Like okay. they used to show the video maybe uh, whatever year this was 2099 or something. <sighs> yeah, this is like 99, 99 bro. 2000. 99 what, or 2000, yeah. bro. It was yeah. real early though. Yeah. It was real late 90s and real mm. early 2000s. That's when that whole like that whole like it soulful hip hop kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. that was like the very tail end of that cuz I think bro, um, well, well, because no, Black Star was, came out. It was year. right before it was about that because Kanye still had that kind of. Well, he morphed yeah. it though. Yeah, by he time morphed like the dro- bling era with. By and, time and uh, College nerds. Dropout came out, so yeah. yeah, that was probably the end of the real soulful shit. Yeah, yeah, because like '99, like for some reason that you know, like Common, one of Common's albums came out Most that year. Def. Uh, uh, most Def, Talib. yeah, Talib, and then Black Star, both of them together, yeah. came out that year, and then uh, the Roots, they had an album, yeah. they had that big song with a. Uh, you got me with uh, Erica Badu and mm, yeah, um, even Erica Badu. Yeah, <laughs> you know, facts, there was yeah. just like this whole soulful thing, and all those people. Basically, every person who's ever performed on the Chappelle Show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That is true, yo. That is so. They true. They had their big boom in like ninety eight, eight ninety nine. Ninety eight, ninety nine. That's true. And it was kind of like. It was like almost like in that in that era, it was kind of like cool to be like soulful and conscious. It was cool. Stuff. Yeah, it was a conscious. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was, it was def- a whole movement. It was conscious cool. Yeah, yeah. Wearing the beanie. Yeah, yeah. Wearing sweaters. Being like all about Africa and shit. Wearing sweaters, uh-huh. baggy pants with some Tims. <laughs> yeah, and then like you know maybe in the early two thousands, that's when the bling era and everything you know kind of just came in. You know, and then you start having ja, ja Rule and mm-hmm. you know Ja Rule had his whole run. He yeah. did. Yeah, I like to run I know you've been more. <laughs> <laughs> I know you miss my love and my fucking thumb. Yeah. Damn, yo. It's so crazy. His voice never like bothered us. Like, I, I mean, that's it true. never really bothered me. Like, it was just like, oh, that's just Ja Rule's voice. Yeah. I oh. needs a lady. I really don't you crazy. Yeah. But like somebody today, maybe a kid will listen and be like, what the fuck is yeah. wrong with his voice? Why is he sounding like he has a cough? Why, like, why would y'all listen to that shit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, y'all didn't, y'all took this seriously? Uh-huh. <laughs> then we had DMX. <laughs> <Excuse> <laughs> was it? I was just about to bring up DMX. Yeah. And then I thought, thought about 50 Cent. I just saw a clip maybe an hour or two ago before he got here. Yeah. Um, 50 Cent was on Conan. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, like, you know, one of those questions where you just ask some short questions and you just get a quick, quick response or whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, damn. Oh, one of the questions was, 
If you had to say one, Conan is asking 50 Cent, if you had to say one good thing about Ja Rule, what would it be? He was like, he's still alive. Yo! Oh, oh my God. He literally, like, oh right, he literally, they, they, he never eases up, bro. Did he say with a smile? Of course. Uh, on, yeah. Of course he said it. He the evil said, smile. No, you know what? Half of it, it started off with no smile, and then yeah. when the crowd started laughing, he turned it into a smile. He's still alive. Because it, oh, so like, like, it was like, he's, he's, he's still alive. Like, you know, his like, mouth goes down. And yeah. it, it, exactly. And it was, that, it, was that, it was that one. And it was almost like, I mean, I wish he wasn't, but hey, this is, this is what it is, though. What is up with those two, man? Know, Damn, man. When is that going to be over? We're going to beef forever. Damn, man. Like, we're Cardi to be B gray said. by the time like mm, yeah they're done with it shit my fault. <laughs> you sound like you sound like you're trying to hack <laughs> i know i know you know what I, I was like it got so quiet they're probably like what the hell just happened you, you're like that part in the movie where they, they're typing and then like yeah, they're always like and and then they press enter and then all the stoplights stop uh-huh. or something and people get in the crash all right now oh, you, yeah, yeah, now yeah, you yeah. can go into the safe shane <laughs> I was writing down the names of the song that I need to pull for the ride out uh, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. I, I hate having mm-hmm. to go through and just to listen for that one part. Yeah. Find out what we said. That shit's so annoying. I, I've been trying to write them down as it goes along. Yeah. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, let's jump into some topics. We're not going to do too much. We actually yeah. already banged out 20 minutes. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> we said All we're right. only going to do 30. Yeah, so man. we'll fly through this real quick. Uh yeah. Regina Hall, Issa Rae movie trailers for Little. I have not seen this at all. Yeah, I just saw it the other day. It was a what trailer it for a movie called Little. Mm-hmm. And basically... Um, it's actually like a black version, opposite sex take on the movie Big, starring Tom Hanks, the '80s movie starring Tom Hanks. Oh wait, I feel like that was on Netflix. I never seen it, but I know it's a classic for him, though. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's a yeah. classic. You see them both jumping on the pianos. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, it's yes, the story yes. of him, uh, a boy wishing to be a man, and then he, the boy, becomes a man. Oh, one of those stories. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that was like... That was the I mean, first I don't know if that generation. was the first one, but, but it definitely... But it was early, though. It yeah. was early, though. Yeah. You know, because movies like 13 Going on 30 took that premise um, uh, with Jennifer Garner. What was the one with uh, Lisa Lo- Lindsay Lohan? Oh, uh, she did she have one? Did she have one? I can't one? remember. Um, um, damn, I can't remember. I can't remember. I know and she it was the, the one with Tyra Banks. And her mom was the white lady that... Oh, the there's a lot hair. of those movies, yeah. yeah, too, where they swap... The, the parents swap. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot damn, of those I movies. I cannot remember that movie, yo, but I mean... Trap. Nah, not parents. No, no, no. They no, just switch body. They just switch lives. Freaky Friday. Freaky. Friday. I should have known that because uh, what's his name? Little Diggy had that big. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot there. about that. Johnny. <laughs> Freaky little, little Friday. Dig- yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, Freaky but I forgot Friday. that was the name of the. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but this one is basically off of Big. So, uh, Regina Hall is a, she's a sort of a bitch that works at a company, and Issa Rae works with her as well, and I guess she Issa Rae works for her for her. This little girl wishes Regina Hall to be, I wish you were my age, you know, or something mm. like that. I wish you were a kid again or something. Mm-hmm. She's like, man, whatever. And then the next morning she wakes up and she's actually a kid. Mm. And, um, but she still has like an adult mind. So she's going to work. She's like, no, no, like, it's me and all that stuff. And yeah. everybody's like, what is this child doing here? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, to be honest, you know, because the movie, funny wise, it, I, I, Humor is subjective. Yeah. So to me, it wasn't really funny. <laughs> it wasn't really funny. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't really fun. But I don't like really dogging. I, I don't want to dog on it just because I like Issa Rae. Yeah. But um, and, and, and Regina Hall either. actually, I like both of them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it wasn't really funny to me. You know, some of the jokes was kind of like you know, this is whatever. But everybody apparently in the YouTube comment, they were like, you know, oh, I can't wait for this movie and all that stuff. You know, it's cracking me up and stuff. I was like, wait, did I miss something? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, the movie looks fine. Um, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check out the trailer. See, yeah, I probably won't it? watch it though. Honestly, yeah, I just don't go to the movies that much anymore. I did start watching did the I Avengers the though, because you know they put the uh, Infinity oh, War on did. Netflix. Yeah. I started watching that last night. That shit was kind of cracking in the beginning. Yeah. Wait, oh wait, did, but I think you saw it in the I saw theater. It, yeah, but yeah, I didn't yeah, realize yeah. it was like a part one movie, so I was disappointed at yeah. the ending. But now yeah. that I know it's a part one, I'm going to enjoy it more, I think, on the second just watch. Knowing. Yeah, just, just knowing. Yeah, just knowing how it ends. Yeah, because I really thought I was going to get closure. Like, they were talking about <laughs> yeah. the movie. Like, I was going to get closure at the end, and I was really mad that there was no closure. So just, I was like, one just, I just didn't just, think it was as amazing as people were making it seem, because I was like, man, this shit was whack, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, so. He's just like, when just sitting there calmly, he's looking at the sunset. <laughs> it's like, yeah, exactly. well, that guy won. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? That's how we leave the theater? It's like, oh. Yeah, it was so weird, yo. And it was like... <laughs> And then watching a villain that literally couldn't be stopped wasn't fun either. 
Oh, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? It was like, bro, he can. And then you end the movie, and he never got stopped. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, what the hell? And fuck, you know, it, remember, it's it's all like Star Lord's fault. Remember, like they almost got the glove off his hand, yes. and he's the one that started punching him, in, punching him in the face, and brought him back to consciousness. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. So this whole movie could have been done if he just like waited. All right, get yeah. the glove off, and then I'm gonna kick his ass. Like, yeah. stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. I hate those moments in movies so much, yo. Yeah. Because all it. you have to do is wait five seconds. Just just relax. <laughs> just relax for five seconds, yeah. bro. Then you'll get your revenge. Yeah, <laughs> but we man. have to get I this glove that, off dog. first. I, I really hate um, when movies do that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, oh, going back to uh, Little. Yeah. See, Big, Little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, I see what they're doing. Um, it wasn't that. It didn't look that funny to me. I don't know if I'll see it or anything, but. But but shout out to Issa Rae. I mean, like she's moving from television to movies now. Yeah. So oh, that's true. Well, you know? she, she's still well from insecure. YouTube to she's, she's still going to be insecure though, right? I I believe so. Because okay. what they only have two seasons of that, right? I, 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 I didn't check out the second two season. two or three. I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I don't even know. I believe it's two because I haven't seen the second season. But I'm sure like. You know, there'll be a third season or whatever. Yeah. I'm sure HBO doesn't want to lose her because I'm pretty sure they get, like, a lot of views and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so that was good. So, uh, uh, what was that? I can't remember. Um, little. Well, well, you pretty much were, like, wrapping it up yeah, a little. Yeah, but what was the other one? Um, Big. Uh, oh, the other topic? Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. Golden Globes. Regina King wins for Best Supporting King, Actress yeah. for... <laughs> two, two Reginas. Yeah, if... <laughs> What is that? If Beale Street yeah. could talk. Oh, if Beale Street could talk. Okay, so yeah, she won. You know, everybody was talking to her, talking about her, like, uh, accepted speech and all that stuff. Damn, this I past. this. Yeah. Oh, wait, I did. I saw it. What, I saw what, it going show? everywhere. Oh, her yeah. acceptance speech. I saw her on stage. Yeah. So that yeah, was the so speech she won. Okay, I never listened to I haven't seen uh, If Beale Street could talk yet because it's from the director of Moonlight, I believe. And um, Who is that? Uh, Barry Jenkins. I saw I'm popping up everywhere, hasn't he? Because I feel like every um, I feel like every couple movies that come out, somebody's like, yeah, you know, or somebody came from Moonlight. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know well, I mean? like either an actor my, came from Moonlight. Yeah. Or because that movie blew everybody up. Yeah. In it. Like, yeah. So it's like every, something Ali, Mahashala Ali, something like that. He's a black right. actor. Um, he's gonna be on the new season of uh, True Detective. He, from that, from Moonlight, and uh, he was in this movie called Green Book. Um, where this white guy is taking this black dude across uh, the country, I think, in the 60s or something like that. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, so he's blowing up. But the director, Barry Jenkins, I I remember I spoke to him once, like, on, like, maybe, like, 2011 or something like that, when he was still on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, And and he was still, like, a nobody. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, (laughs) Yeah. like a regular-ass dude. Yeah, I I saw this independent movie. uh, I downloaded it illegally (laughs) and, and watched it. And I just like the world should work. Yeah, I just hit him up on Facebook. I was just like, uh, "Hey, man, I enjoyed your film. You inspire me and all that stuff." And he was like, "Hey, man, keep keep going," you know. Yeah. But then I guess uh, he blew up more, blew up more. He's not on Facebook anymore. Yeah. But <laughs> at least but he won't see. Your I was message. thinking about that. Yeah. I was at least he won't see your message. If you, you know what I'm saying, even if you did, yeah. there's so many in there, it's yeah. gonna be hard to filter yeah. them. Maybe joints. in the future, I'll meet you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you on the red carpet. Someday. We'll see each other. Again. Don't <laughs> was, worry. And then I'll bring up. You don't remember our conversation? I'll bring it up though. Yeah. You spoke to me once. That will be the conversation piece. Told me to keep going, and I took your advice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, but her uh, speech was good, um, and uh, I'm glad that you know another black actress, you know, won the award. Uh, it, it was a lot, of, a lot of minority actors that won that night. You know, yeah, <laughs> you know, it was crazy. Um, black Panther, I think, feel, think was nominated. It didn't win. It didn't win anything. <laughs> Damn! It didn't win. <laughs> it didn't win anything. The Golden Globes? Yeah, the Golden Globes. Sheesh. It didn't win anything. That's why I'm. I'm saying like, the Infinity War win anything? Uh, I don't even think it was nominated. Oh shit! Yeah, because you know, like, it might have missed the cutoff or something. Uh, at these award shows, you know, the movies that are always like nominated are the ones that are either based on race or mm. sexual. Uh, some, sexuality some, and some se- he, heavy some, subject matter. Some heavy subject, yeah. Yeah, those are the movies that Academies and. Uh, you really get like, action or superhero movies. Superhero like. movies, they're still they're acting like they do because they'll nominate them at least because but they, they need won't the views. Win, people but, aren't watching the the war, yeah, war shows anymore. Yeah, that's true. Because because people don't know the movies you're talking about. Like <laughs> they're such deep movies and like I, I haven't seen these movies that are winning awards. I, I like a, never, a or, bunch of people, and then and you might not even a lot of the times you never heard of them. Yeah, never heard of them. You know, they're they're smaller movies. Um, all the movies that people are watching are big event movies, you know? Yeah. So, but I think... Blockbuster movies. Especially with uh, 
I think the Oscars, which is happening in like a month or two, um, they – oh, do you know the Kevin whole Kevin Hart thing that's been happening? Yeah, where he stepped down and then he now stepped he's down. considering it or something he's like that. He's reconsidered – I think because of Ellen. He was on Ellen and she was saying that he want, she wants him to continue to do it. Yeah. Um, but I, I, th- I just heard that the Academy is going to have a no-host event. Their first what? no host event. Are you serious? They never even refilled a spot. Yeah, they didn't re- even refill it. Yeah, they. Like, so what's gonna happen? They just. Who, 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 oh, you know what? I just heard another hire, thing. Dang, all, all of this is just coming like as I'm talking to you. Like hey, they better hire MC Light. Yeah, she'll do, she'll, <laughs> she'll do everything from a little box Man. on a mic. All those old white people is like, MC who? Yeah, <laughs> MC who? But they go hear her first. MC Light ain't coming up for the best supporting role. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this shit MC Light, a, she has the best voice for that, y'all. I yeah. love when she does like the BT Ayo. awards and stuff like that. Come out like, to the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she be killing it. I love MC Light. She still looks the same and everything. She still look. She look good, bro. Yeah, yeah. MC she Light still looks look the same. Yeah. Yeah. Ever since I was twelve, she's she still not looks aging, yo. Or she's just aging like wine. Yeah. Like most black women, actually. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, like Jada and Jada's yep. mama. Jada mama look younger than Jada, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, is... her mama look better. Yeah. Not better, but she looks mm-hmm. younger than me. Yeah. But you think she, maybe she had her at a young age? Or... I don't know, man. Jada's yeah. mama is bad, though. Or maybe like, yeah. Jada Smith. Jada Pickett Smith. Yeah. But what I just heard, too, was I think they're going to have the Avengers host. That uh, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. Like, At first, it was no host. Turns, pretty much. M- maybe I, I don't. I have no Almost idea. Like a bunch of everybody's guests like, night. yeah. Everybody's kind of like like scratching their heads. Like, how? how what are you doing? Uh, but at the same time, do you see what I was saying? Going back to our previous conversations of like pop. You know, the views for Oscars are going down because yeah. nobody's watching it because nobody knows the movies you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but if you have the Avengers host, hey, maybe that'll get the kids it, to watch. You market it like that too. Yeah. yeah, you get the kids to watch this award show about movies that people don't know anything yeah. about. Yeah, they need to stick, or maybe they just need to do more of what the Grammys does, where all those categories that they technically have, you can't, you don't air all of them. Just air the ones that yeah. people would tune in for. You know what I mean? Because. Yeah. The Grammys that we see on TV, it is a much longer list of winners than the one that we see on TV. Like, yeah. Yeah. So that's why they have some off. It's an extremely long list of people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like they'd be at the Grammys for like three, four hours announcing <laughs> yeah. stuff because like... That last one felt long you, as hell. Yeah. Especially if you ever looked on the website. A lot of people have never done this. Like, go on the Grammys, like the Grammy website on mm. the winners. That shit is long as hell, yo. Like, yeah. it's so many categories. Like... Yeah. Best audio book. You know what I mean? Best comedy album. Like, yeah. they have all those categories that people would never see on TV. Yeah. And that was a big thing. Remember when, you know, Will Smith and Jay-Z were boycotting it? They weren't even showing oh, yeah. hip-hop yeah. on. Yeah, Hip-hop right. winners on the Grammys at one point. Yeah, yeah. And that was right. back during Will Smith era when, you know, mm-hmm. parents just don't understand Summertime and shit like that. Yeah, so you just um, heard about it. Because he won a Grammy off of Summertime, but they didn't air it, I don't think. Oh. Something of that nature. Then he boycotted forever after that. Oh, or maybe the opposite way around. I can't really remember, but something of that nature. Yeah. So we're going to see what happens with this Oscars thing, like, uh, you know, having the Avengers. And like I said, like, we haven't, they haven't warmed up to movies. Well, I mean, Logan got nominated for Best Screenplay last year which, when Get Out came out around that time. Yeah. Um, but then that was like a movie movie. See, I, I think, like, with if you want your superhero movie to get nominated for an Oscar, like... You, the movie almost has to transcend a superhero movie. You know? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people were saying that about Black Panther, but to me, Black Panther is like like a superhero movie. <laughs> yeah, like it didn't have that much like yeah. emotional side story. Yeah, I mean, like it, it had the race thing. I think it that's had, what people did. were saying. Okay, like, yeah, the it race definitely thing. had the race thing. 100%. Yeah, but just like, but it wasn't like the Dark Knight. It, it was. It didn't look like I was just about to say the Dark, the Dark Knight. Knight had a. Yeah. It had a deep plot on out. That looks out, like a movie movie. Yeah, like that out, looks like a movie. <laughs> yeah, outside of whatever action we saw, it was yeah. some deep shit going on. Even that's when a they, film. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, that was a film. They're like yeah. no CGI, like, no, you, no, all yeah, over the place. Like, movies like that, you just picture them coming on reels. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, this is the reel for that. Yeah, yeah. They don't use reels at all anymore, do they? Uh, re- oh so wait, wait, wait what computer mean? shit? Right. When uh, mostly, like, I mean, Hollywood. like. Yeah, like, Tarantino today. was the type that he'll be like, I need these type of film roles just to. Oh work. yeah, so he an actual film. Like, yeah, okay, he didn't type to do shit like that. Probably, yeah, it's fading out. It's yeah, fading out now. Not really doing it like that no more. But it's mostly because like digital is starting. There, some digital cameras are starting to look like film. Uh huh. Um, certain cameras and all that stuff like it's starting to look like film. So I guess a lot of, uh, and then film costs more. Because you have to keep buying, you have to keep getting the film, and, and then and, however many takes you may have, you yeah. you can't even watch over like what you did. 
<laughs> you know, that's so you would just have there. to take the shot and then pray that it came out in focus. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's true. And then yeah. when when the film develops, then and you watch it in a room, that's when you get to see like a week later. That's when you get to see the footage that you shot. Damn. <laughs> that's how film works. So I guess that's why a lot of directors are kind of like. Okay, I'm going to shoot digital so I can watch over what I just shot just yeah. now on a file. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Um, but then Pyrrhus. Um, I think Nolan shoots on film still, too. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to see what happens with the Oscars because it could be chaos. It could be. <laughs> it oh, could yes. run smoothly. Uh, people might watch it just because they're like, bro, y'all don't they have no, see. They're like, you have no plan. I'm definitely tuning in for this shit. You to know see what I mean? how it like, goes down. No I, host, me... but the Avengers are kind of hosting. <laughs> That is weird. What, two at a time or something? Hey, know. you know what I just thought about randomly? What time do you think uh what time you think Boston Market closes? <laughs> uh it's random as shit. But yeah. I'm gonna Google it right now. Boston Market. I wanna know if it's completely out of the question right now. Cause like, Boston Market. Yeah, Boston Market, bro. That shit good as hell. When's yeah. the last time you had Boston Market? Like it's been so good. It's a bo- it's been a while. Um, but I don't know, maybe like before ten. I know they close at nine. You think What? Oh shit. What? What? 10 o'clock, bro. It is well, only 9 time? o'clock right now. Oh, cool. I am going to Boston Market cool. when this podcast is over. It is over. Yeah. Capitol Boulevard, here I come. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. And I'm sitting down. Damn. Damn. They, they closed that late? Yeah. I, didn't, I thought this was I like thought it was 9, nine at least. That's what I thought. A 9 o'clock spot. Yeah. yeah. But I guess 10 is kind of standard. Chipotle. Yeah. These are high. These are niggas that eat way too much fast food. Yeah. Or <laughs> way too much out. You know, we, yeah. don't cook, we clearly don't cook enough. We know the hours of these locations. <laughs> I know what kind of style, depending on the style of food, I could probably give yeah. you a rough estimate on what time they close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, but yeah. let me see. We yeah. also got, let me jump, just jump into movies. Um, Bird Box okay. is kind of old. We oh, can't talk about it, but yeah, yeah, it's kind of right. old topic. It's, it, well, now, because oh, everybody's been doing the challenge, everybody's too. Everybody's been doing the challenge, right? so it's like, it's been talked about so much. Yeah. Let's we we seen it though. It was whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, it yeah. actually was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it was just, I, I thought it was like, man, is this movie All right, great? What, or I'll say one thing: the way that nigga was moving, it was like, oh, which you one? Just, the black dude. Oh, I was like, oh, you just got all the answers, don't you? Speaking, of, like, speaking of Moonlight, he was in Moonlight. Exactly. That's yeah. where I heard it from. He was recently. the last. Uh, That's where I heard it from recently. Yeah. I kept saying while I was watching, it, I said, where? Who is this nigga? Like, yeah. what dude? What black dude just knows survival tactics like this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. like why is he so well rounded? You know what I'm saying? The whole movie. He always knows what exactly to do. It's so crazy because I didn't think I thought his acting in Moonlight was stronger than it was in this movie. Oh no no no! This movie was weird. It, it was like I, I, you know, it was like, so unrealistic. Reason, I feel like like maybe yeah. I, I, I feel like that's what it was. It was just so unrealistic the stuff they had him doing. Mm-hmm. Like the white dude who was a dickhead. Yeah, it yeah. was like don't let him in. That was some realistic. That was realistic as fuck. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I can't remember what his name oh, is. Oh, John Malkovich. Uh, the ball guy? Yeah, ball guy yeah, from yeah. Uh, like Red mm-hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a good actor. yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he always said, yeah, step away from the door. Yeah, like, he, yeah, that's yeah. a very commanding. What are look. you doing? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? I like that dude, yo. I like, I, I get killed. happy every time I see him because he, he plays yeah. his characters very well every time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so Lil Uzi Vert says he's quitting music and like people are really like going through it online. Like, holy shit. Yeah, like I thought it was because you know people announce, people announce that they're um, uh, quitting music all the, all the time. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah but, but, I, but at his age though? But there's a thing with Uzi though. Uzi kind of all on the real, Uzi's always had label problems. Oh, really? He's always been dis- disgruntled with his label. And I think he signed to Atlantic. I'm yeah. not 100% sure, but nine times out of 10, it's Atlantic. Mm-hmm. But he's always, ever since he came out, man, like literally ever since he came out, because right before I knew who Lil Uzi Vert was, I might have seen one video before he really blew up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Love yeah. is Rage was about to come out. Mm-hmm. Or he had just dropped Love is Rage, and then Don Cannon signed him. You know, DJ Drama and Don Cannon, they have a deal with him through, they signed him, and then I guess they did the, they set the alley-oop up for Atlantic, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, since I've known about Lil Uzi Vert, he has always been openly disgruntled about, they're holding my music, they won't let me drop, they won't let me do this, mm-hmm. when is this supposed to come out, like... Um, I don't really care if you cry. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That song, was, that song was literally a hot song for like a year, and they wouldn't let him drop his album. Oh, it man. was literally on top of the charts for damn near an entire year. Like they leaked that shit dry until it was that single was dead almost. Yeah. Then they dropped Love Is Rage too. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. he's always had issues with that because that's not he doesn't he hasn't had the free the freedom to move like everybody else, especially in his generation of music has been able to move. Yeah. You know, like 
this generation of music, I want to drop an album like right now. You want to drop a mixtape machine? You know, yeah. we'll have one out by Friday because yeah. we can. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's the only one out of this new generation that has never been able to move openly like that when it comes yeah. to releasing his own music. And so instead of just going to like another label or drop, I mean, just drop they, it off of that label. From what it sounds like, they got him wrapped up in these contracts. Like, oh. like it, this has been a consistent complaint from him for three, three, four years he's been around. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's, Obviously, you if you if anybody's complaining that much and not and not changing their situation is because the contract is letting is 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 not letting them. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So um, that's a big thing where hmm. I think talk of masters and owning masters is starting to come up a lot more. Again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, shout out to UnitedMasters dot com. I can't remember. I think it's United Masters. It's an Instagram page, mm -hmm. and they're starting to really blow up. I, I, they're, they clearly did some promotion and deal with academics, but I'm glad though. I've been following them since they had like fifteen thousand followers, mm -hmm. and I can't remember why I found it. But somebody that I like, like Nipsey Hussle, was like, "Go follow this page." These people are the reason that these people will help you keep your masters and stuff oh. like that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I followed it off of a, of a, a hip hop artist I clearly respect. Mm -hmm. Told me to follow it, and I followed it. So I've already been following it. Now they doing their marketing is getting savage. Like they're starting to put clips up all the time of yeah. people talking about music ownership. So it'd be a clip of Jay Z in ninety something. Yeah, and he'd be like this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I'm in this room, you know, with all these board owners, and I'm the only one that own everything. And you know, like yeah. Jay Z ninety three type of Jay Z. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like old school Jay Z. Yeah. They got a clip of Pharrell that just recently went viral again that from when he, was, clip. when he was on the Breakfast Club a couple years ago, and he was talking about um the label owns your masters. Where you know what I mean? It's like mm. it's like I own the rights to your work, and I tell you what to do now. I tell yeah. you when to go to the bathroom. You know, it's like yeah. you know Prince has been fighting this whole master thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, but oh, the, you know, speaking of Prince, just real quick, yeah. Somebody brought up, I can't remember who it was, but it might have been like an older black dude. Okay, it, maybe it'll come to me later. But I remember him saying, you know, um. It's crazy how, like, you know, Prince died and all that stuff. Yeah. And Prince was, like, against, you know, having his music all over the place and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he died, like, a few days later, his music videos and his music was all over YouTube. And yeah, it was like he had a tight grip on it while he was alive. And then once he passed away. Once he passed away, it's, it's everywhere, you know? The Prince thing hurts us so much because he had no will set up. Yeah. So it fell into the hands but see, of... But, but do you see where I'm going with this, though? I see where you're going with this, though. In, yeah. in terms of, like, cons conspiracy lane, I'm just yeah, like... Yeah, I see what you mean, though. Uh, yeah. He's not letting us play around with his music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's kind of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then all of a sudden... All of a sudden, he passes away, and we YouTube, get free... YouTube, like, your music get, is all over YouTube. And we get free rights, and now we get to make money off of it, because we yeah. own it now. Yeah. So now, you know, they could release songs about, you know, like, unreal release tracks of his and all that's that so stuff. scary think about everything you've ever worked for man and you pass away and it just goes to the hands of some lawyer somewhere somewhere yeah but or see, some but if you pass away naturally <laughs> you if you that, pass away naturally yeah yeah because yeah, i mean like they could probably make it happen sooner that's why you almost <laughs> you need to move like you know it's always getting it's always uh iffy jumping in those comparison conspiracy theories like yeah, that yeah yeah but you almost you need to move with a certain level of conspiracy you theory can scratch chin. yeah you, I, I scratch my chin yeah, yeah. and then it's yeah. like just because this is a possibility i need to make sure i have everything set up just yeah. in case shit goes that direction because like i, I mean? said like, you, yeah. it means the same situation with michael you know yep. just like because michael didn't like his music did like being going they said shit started getting tricky for him when it came to like the legal stuff once he bought the Beatles catalog yeah that's when his problems started coming in because mm -hmm. he bought the Beatles catalog yeah and that's mm -hmm. when child molesting or the, you know the child stuff started, oh, coming, started up coming up and you know what I mean like that's yeah. they said that was like right it was not too long after that deal had closed or whatever that yeah. he really started having public issue ish yeah. public well not to not issues. to make Bill Cosby look innocent because I'm sure he's, he did some of those things like uh -huh. Dave Chappelle exactly. said yeah, yeah. Um, but they said the like NBC with thing. his they, he tried to buy uh, ABC and yeah. he was like getting close to doing it uh huh and this yeah. wasn't the first time he had tried to do it either yeah like yeah, this was back in yeah. the day too yeah, so, and he was trying how to do you, it again. How, how much money did he have? How much money does he I have? Oh man, he, but he, he, I mean, because like Cosby Show was in syndication, you know. And, so we, and we're getting... sleeping like our generation. Maybe not. I don't know about your generation, but what? well, yeah, yeah. This is our generation. Well, not really what, our Cosby? generation. This is this is more of our parents' generation. Yeah, or, I think or like our older cousins' generation. Yeah, our older cousins' generation. Yeah, we're slipping on how powerful he was back in the day too. Like man, man. a lot of people our age, I think we understand it a little bit more because I come from a house where my mom is from Philly. Mm. 
my mom went to Temple, Bill Cosby's college. Yeah. Bill Cosby's from Philly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fat Albert. She came through up all that. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, I knew the importance of Bill Cosby through my family. You probably knew the importance yeah. of Bill Cosby. Like on the tail end, I, I started the to tell like, movie it. called yeah, Ghost but, Dad. And, <laughs> damn, how much money was he getting back then, bro? And they weren't I even giving know, black people money yeah, like that, right? Yeah, because remember, they, not only did he have a sitcom, but he had like this other show where he was like teaching kids. A stuff. different world, too, man. Then he had Little oh, Bill. Yeah. Oh, so he had those shows that he like. He had like, these. He had these. The, the shows he had were so fucking huge. See, that's, bro. see, that's why he was saying. That's why I get what Dave Chappelle was saying. Where he's like, yeah, he probably did those things, but he also kind of like brought good entertainment to black audiences, like yeah. bla- like shows about black people going to college. You yeah, know, like exactly. a different world. Like, because that is the reason a lot of people went to college. Because I feel like when I see the Breakfast Club interview people like uh, Envy's age, yeah. and they're in their early forties, mm-hmm. late thirties, early forties, mm-hmm. a lot of them say, "I went to college because of a different world." Yeah, like, it made it made going to college cool. Because yeah. you didn't see that many black people doing it. Yeah. And then I didn't realize, you know what? I didn't realize. So shout out to Nick Cannon for this. Nick Cannon is the reason I wanted to go to college. Really? Oh. Dr- for Drumline. Drumline. That Drumline, was a good movie. Man. Drumline is the movie yeah. that made me be like, I never thought about college before. I never really cared. I just, because I, I never, I've never been a school guy. So like, mm. I never in my head was like, I'm going to go to this school, man. I can't wait me to either, these colors. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but Drumline definitely. And I think it affected a lot of people's generation because uh, I actually saw a meme a couple months ago. Where some somebody actually posted it, they were like, "The reason I went to a, they were like fifty percent of the reason I went to A and T is because Nick Cannon did Drumline." Oh man, I was like, "Damn, I forgot that was A and T." We're in North Carolina, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, imagine yeah. the impact it had in this area because I wasn't even living here when that movie came out. Oh, I was okay. in Pennsylvania. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, man, all those schools that they were talking about Texas A and M and shit like that, like, mm. but yeah, and he was good in that too. Like, was he was so good. good in that movie. Nick Cannon's a low. Nick like, Cannon's a legend out here. Nick Cannon's like, a young that, that legend. Scene, out here. I, that scene is intense. That scene where they're him and that dude are having like a drum off in the locker room. Yeah. And then they do this thing where they just, and they point the, uh-huh. the things at each other. It was so real, was bro. Like, Damn, that shit was hard. It was so real, bro. They made they they just made like drum like you know that doing that drum like shit like just hard and good. You know uh-huh. that's a good movie. That's an underrated. Movie. It's a really good movie. Bro. I've seen it in years. And bro. on the real, bro, I saw Love Don't Cost a Thing maybe six months ago, three yeah. months, three four months ago. Yeah. Fire movie. I can't bro. remember that movie. Maybe that was yeah, him and Christina it. Milian. Yeah, I, where yeah, he was I, the I remember nerd. the trailers. Yeah, yeah he was. The, the, oh, you never seen it? Yeah, I don't think I ever seen it. Oh man, it's good, bro. Pretty much is one of the stories where. I'm the nerd. I'm a pool boy, yeah. geeky, full scholarship ride. Yeah. Steve Harvey's my dad. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've never had no girlfriend, never yeah. even had a first kiss, never got no ass. Mm. Um, this the most popular girl in school who's dating somebody who just got drafted to the NBA, yeah. and graduated a year previous to them. Yeah. Gets into a pickle that I can help get her out of, but the deal is, I ne- you need to make me popular. Oh, so, okay, one of those All movies, right. you know what I mean? Christina Milian, then man. the ego gets to his head. You know, yeah. it's a down. You know, the whole, yeah. the whole. You know, you Downward know, the spiral you know, the, you know the storyline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like Scarface without the coke. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know the storyline don't change too often. Goes but, up to power, and then. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to that. And yeah. then while we're in the uh, vein of nostalgia movies, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna get out of here. We're at forty-seven minutes, so this okay. is perfect. Okay. Um, um, and in the cupboard is on Netflix now. Oh, oh, oh shit! I gotta watch that. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, shit! Sir. I gotta watch yes, that. Sir. Damn. Yes, sir. Bro. Indian in the cupboard. When I saw somebody <laughs> post that online, bro. I was like, <laughs> I was telling Leon, I was. He never seen it. Oh, I was like, seen it? I was like, I, I couldn't even speak. I was yeah. so excited because oh, now that shit. I'm an adult. That yeah. movie was deep as fuck, bro. Yeah, it was. It was so like, to do with deep. race and shit. Bro, it was race. I mean, I haven't seen it in years, but I'm going to watch he it. He took him away from his family by making him, bringing him alive. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. remember in the toy world, he had a whole life, wife, kids and yeah. stuff. You remember? Yeah. And he was like, you have to get me back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I need to be a toy again. Like, yeah. the cowboy and the, the Indian cowboy, he was friends. racist and stuff. And yeah. Then, yeah. He had to keep them separated. Yeah. Oh, man. Such a powerful movie for, Damn, for those man, who haven't good, seen it. Movie, yeah. And it is on Netflix, bro. It just got See, to man, Netflix. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like the 80s and the, and the 90s, they had these, like, um, like, these kids' movies, but they were so, like, deep you know, like yeah, they, they were, like they were, they had really deep I mean, lessons. Even the Lion King, but um, but like, do you remember my girl? No. Okay. Uh, Sounds familiar though. Yeah, yeah. About this girl who worked. Uh, she lived at a morgue with her family, and Macaulay Culkin's in it. And I, uh, I remember especially like the scene like where they kiss and stuff. 
Yeah. And he dies in it. But that basically that that movie is basically a movie about death and the realization of Sheesh, death. How real it is, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, spoilers, but uh damn it, I don't need a tissue or something. There's one over there. Uh yeah, I'm a, just I'm on that diamond tap. Yeah. Just straight ahead. Um behind that behind that peanut co- yeah, right there. Yeah, but um, yeah. Spoiler, spoiler alert! But uh, Macaulay Culkin he actually dies in it. Mm. Yeah, and then that scene is like it's because he gets attacked by bees and he has a he's allergic to bees and shit. I remember that. You remember? I remember that? I remember that. I remember and I remember, remember she that. cries at the yes, funeral and I stuff like that. that movie that was a kid. <laughs> your glasses. You have no, to put on your I glasses. Remember that. I remember that scene. Damn, yeah. that was a deep. That was a dark movie, bro. But see, but that's what I'm saying. That movie because even her family they worked at a morgue. So oh shit. Uh, you know, like the family they had to go downstairs. Her father used to go downstairs and take care of the bodies and yeah. all that stuff. But the whole theme of the movie. It seems like it was like a movie teaching kids really about just the realization death of death. Is. Yeah, because she didn't really take death seriously until her friend died. You know, mm. the first boy she ever kissed like died. So, but but, but go just going to my point. Like, you know, how many movies kids to movies today are for kids are about like death and like you're gonna die someday. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I remember. So the, I feel like the last kids movie that I saw now there easily could have been one before this. But it really touched in on human feeling and yeah. just concepts of being a human was the movie. Yeah. What was the one where it was like there was different characters? There was the anger character. It was the happiness oh, character. What was that shit called? That was good. Uh, it, uh, I was gonna say, Inside Out? Yeah. Inside, inside out? out. Inside yeah, Out. Inside, I was going to say In and Out. Was, yeah. Inside or, Out. Yeah, inside I out. liked yeah, I really that liked movie Inside was, Out. That was a deep ass movie. Yep. That yeah. was a deep that, movie. I would say that, that was like Inception for kids. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. That was the last time I saw... A mm. movie that was like really touched in on like a, mm. a real emotional or just a deep level of human thought process. It, it, it seems like that that movie, like when you really look at the girl, like she was like almost like bipolar or something, or maybe you know, uh, it's just a good movie to to teach Everybody kids to to be in control of their feelings That's and emotions. True. That, and they made it so simple, like yeah, yeah, just make every emotion a character. And it, and it even made it even for adults. I feel like that really yeah. that was good. Yeah. And that's why there's was a lot saying, of adults who don't have that. There's a lot of adults who check. they need to, some and you know, sometimes we need to see it broken down like yeah. juvenile like that where yeah. you're just like, you know and what? Entertaining. That is what I needed. Like that's what I need. That's why I'm, you know what I mean? I could just yeah. do this and I could probably feel better about myself. Yeah, and I really love the message of the ending too because remember like the ending because Happy was always trying to be happy, and she thought that, okay, she, the little girl has to be happy. Yeah. I have to get her there so you know I can make her happy and all that stuff. And she kept pushing sadness aside, sadness yeah. aside. But remember at the end, she let sadness touch the ball, you know, like that ball or whatever. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, her yeah. think. And that's what made her go turn around and change her mind to go back home. You know, mm-hmm. when she, oh, when she started, uh, she let sadness touch her happy memories. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I just like that message of, Sometimes sadness is necessary, you know, to make the right so to make the right de- yeah decision. to make the right decisions because yeah they're happy memories but she had to make those memories those happy memories sad so she could be like, oh yeah I like this yeah I don't want to go, leave this I, I need to go back and, and feel that happy so I can go back and feel the yeah. happiness of those so sadness was necessary in that instant you know yeah. like when she was unnecessary the whole movie everybody pushing her aside but it was like no she, we needed her yeah. yeah that was a yeah that was a good that was a deep, deep movie. movie man yeah Pixar but, man. Shout out to Pixar. They made bro. a lot. I mean, like Jesus to their Christ. credit, they made a lot of movies that yeah, man. Like, touch your soul. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, man, we're gonna be out of here, man. We did. Yeah. We said thirty minutes, but we're at fifty three. So this is perfect. So yeah, this is right. literally this is perfect. Yeah. Um. But we'll see y'all next week. Uh, yeah, man. Um, thank y'all for coming out to the Better Late Than Never. Yeah. Whoever uh, came out, thanks for coming out. Thank you, you for know? coming out. Yeah. We really appreciate everybody, and we're still we're still living off the hype and the yeah. high right now. Yeah. Um. I might call out for a week just because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. I can't come in today. Yeah, yeah. I can't because last night <laughs> yeah. was a movie. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> But uh, I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.